Hello developers. Today we are going to build face filters. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your projects. AR face filters are very popular in recent years, especially with the rise of social media apps such as Instagram and Snapchat. AR face filters can be used to create an augmented reality experience by overlaying virtual objects on top of real images and videos. The technology is similar to the one used by Facebook camera effects or selfie Snapchat lenses to add filters to photos and videos, but has its own unique style and capabilities. You will also build a similar AR solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this AR solution. So what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kits gives you a ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to install candy kits on AI, augmented reality, gaming, blockchain, and many more on candy. Today, we'll be using a popular candy kit on face filters one click install kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license, which means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. So let's get started. Over to you, Raji, for the hands on walkthrough. Hello, guys, welcome you all to this session. Hope you all are excited to build your own AR application, right? If you are a person looking forward to start your career in augmented reality or yet to develop your project in one level of advance by influencing the flavors of augmented reality, then absolutely it is an eye-opener session for you guys. Today I came here with an interesting candy one-click kit, which is face filter using TJ's technology for Instagram and Snapchat. To build this face filter application, you will be required the following. Initially, pick a development environment of your choice to develop the code and debug the issues while running the application. Secondly, come with a different 3D models which do not act as a face filter. And finally, you will be required some basic knowledge of 3 days technologies. Everything you needed is already available in these candy kits. Let's get started by installing candy one click kits. Check the description for the link to be installable. It will navigate you to the respective candy kit page browser. And here you could see this download one click installer. Just hit the button. This will set up the working sandbox application with all needed P requisites and resources. Now we can follow this deployment instruction for installation process. You can have a glance on the libraries added to the below session, which will be very helpful to grasp and expand the application in easier manner. Now take a pause on the video just to complete the installation process. Once it's ready, hit the resume button, we'll jump into the building of AR application. Great, hope you all are set fine. Coming to the interesting part of the session, now I'm gonna to give a demonstration on this space filter application. Let's check it out how it works. Once installation process gets completed successfully, you will need to start a server. The server will hit you to the respective port. Once port gets started, you could see the page like this. Just move on to the respective directory. Under this 3JS folder, you could see the available filters. In this filter, now we are going to test this Kesadi Puppel filter. Before that, I need to disable my camera because browser required camera action to see the filters. Take it out the filter. If you want, you can give this plating. we can experiment all the available filters here. Before that, we'll just go on to the technical part, how they are implemented this space filters. Coming to the technical part of this space filter application, get your source code to the respective ID of your choice. Just place the audio file, which should be played around the filters. The audio file can be in the format of MP3. And under this dev folder, you can place your 3D models, which do not act as a face filter. This 3D model can be in the format of Blend, OBJ, FPX, and even GLTF files it supports. Let's check it out the 3D models. This is the 3D model placed under the dev folder. It is going to act as a filter. This is the 3D model placed under the dev tag. 
and this is the mask gonna to act as the face filter for this pepper coming to this index.html file we are just importing some common dependencies which are required to render this application this particular 3.win.js dependency is responsible for giving all inbuilt function that is provided by 3js technology and it is important to import this main.js file and you can add your style requirements under this style tag once this edit tag completed we can go for this body tag under this body tag we are just loading this main function this main function redirects us to this main.js file and under this canvas tag this canvas tag is nothing but it is a transparent tag which stores the graphics folder and help us to render the javascript files and this play audio function help us to play that particular audio around the face filters then we'll move on to this main.js function coming to this main.js file this main function is loaded once this main function is loaded we can trap the scripting process by using this canvas id inside this main dot function we are calling two user defined function one is this callback function and another one is this init face filter function this callback function is nothing but it is responsible to detect the face once it detected the face it will give a console message of detected once it couldn't detect the face it will give the console message of lost after coming to this we can go for this init face filter this init face filter function is responsible to initiate the scene then it will require some paths and ids to initiate the scene this is the nnc path required which should be added under this json file this nnc path is nothing but it is a neural net which is responsible to reflect the behavior of human mind that means it allows the computer to recognize some patterns and solve some issues that are occurring during the rendering process and uh, this callback function will be again called once the face is detected then it will start in a three scene once the scene gets started then it will start rendering rendering is a pre-built function provided by 3js technologies this render is used to render some javascript function for especially for 3d models and this three camera is used to start up the camera settings once the camera is started then it will throws to the scene coming to this in a three scene function it is responsible to render the scene here we are using this buffer geometry loader this buffer geometry loader is used to store the data which reduce the complexity of storing all the data in gpu this json file is loaded under this buffer geometry loader this one is used to integrate the 3d models while rendering and coming to this mask geometry Geometries are used to store the vertex position, facial indexes, and other attributes for the rendering. And here, along with this 3D filter, we can give some textures added in PNG format. This PNG are nothing but they are giving some textures to the face filters. For example, this is the color given to the face filter here, and this should be placed under the models. After placing this under the model folder. we can load it here and we can give some fixed positions scales according to the requirements once this is done let's discuss about the bills this bills are nothing but while rendering the scene we could able to see some currencies are fallen around the 3d models and we can place this currency image under this image folder and we can give the path to this texture loader and we can give this position rotation and scale values according to our animation requirements once this is done let's discuss about the creation of this frame this 3 dot mesh is an inbuilt 3js function which is used to integrate the geometry with the material and this create mat 2d is a function that is responsible for raw shaded material if a material is used to given a customized value then it is recommended to use this raw shader material and in this method we could see this raw shader material once we are importing all the re necessary requirements we can go to the frame and yo after giving this to a mesh variable then we can add this to a scene once the scene gets started we can initiate the create camera and this create camera will be started 
then this ambient light is responsible for illumination of this object and this directional light is responsible to emit the parallel light in a single direction once all this required uh, variables are declared with the with the material then the scene is started to render and this is how the space filter application is rendered well by coming to this customization we can easily customize the space filter just go to this dev folder change this blend format 3d model as per your wish and make a minor changes main.js function as per your requirement then you will be having a customized 3d face filter application yeah now we could experiment the other customized filters available in the kits let's go for this terrific one Yeah, it is looking too funny, right? I'll be moving to next filter. Let's check this popular dog face. Okay, that's it. Congratulations, now you have your own customized working model of face filters. Hope you found that session useful. Using a candy kit is a great way to build AR powered engines and models. You can find the link to the face filters using augmented reality kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on AI, blockchain, augmented reality, and many more. Try out our candy kits now. Hit subscribe and join us at the Open Weaver community of developers to learn to build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching the session. Until the next one, bye bye.